sorry for the wait. Uh, between my internet being down and an entirely different Xeno game, it took me a while for me to get this update finished. But it's done now, and I think what's added here will make up for how long it took. With no further pageantry, let's talk about what's new. First off, the new characters added in the DLC. GT Vegeta has been fully added with an install ultimate to match GT Goku's. His moves are mostly intact, with the exception of Wild Buster being given to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Royal Rush is here in its place, which meshes better with GT Vegeta's combos. This bow's been kept entirely intact, plus a few bonuses. Since Awakenings aren't the mod pack, Supersonic Mode has been made its own super skill. Now, even the AI can use it. In addition, Justice Crush has been made into its own skill, separate from Justice Kick. You can still combo the two together, though. The Saiyan costume for Ultra Instinct Goku has been updated with a new DLC model. So what happened to the actual character then? Well, it's gone through some changes. Replacing Ultra Instinct Sign is a form from the manga, Saiyan Ultra Instinct. This version comes from two of Goku's applications of Sign in the manga. Firstly, Goku eventually learns that Sign is the form best suited to him, since he doesn't need to control his emotions to use it. This allows him to fight as he always has, giving it a higher power ceiling than proper Ultra Instinct. Secondly, Goku demonstrates the ability to combine Sign with Super Saiyan Blue, augmenting its powers even further. Saiyan Ultra Instinct takes those two aspects and meshes them together into a powerful form that trades natural dodging for extreme power and speed. In addition to these updates, some characters have received new moves. Some of these moves are minor additions, and others completely change the way they play. Lastly, to make up for the long wait, I've added three new characters to the mix. I hope you enjoy them.
if you downloaded the mod pack in the past few days, you may have noticed some of this new content. That's because I was silently making sure the mod pack was updated even before this video was out. Regardless, with the latest version dropping today, I'd recommend everyone to re-download it. That way, you're guaranteed to have all the new content shown off in this video. Don't forget to support all the hardworking creators who made the mods that went into this mod pack. You can find them linked in the description before the download links. A tutorial for modding your Switch is linked in the description.